VR for Interior Designers. In this tutorial, we are going to show you how to easily present interactive 3D designs to your clients in a rich VR environment. In this part of the tutorial, we are going to apply materials to the design and create animated sequences that can be interactively played in the SimLab viewer. Part 1. From the File menu, select Import. Select the file and click Open. The 3D design has default materials applied to it, and in order to change them, click on a part of the design in the 3D area, and in the Material Attributes panel to the right, set the material type to plastic. Change the attributes as you need, or apply materials from the material library simply by dragging a material onto an object. You can also modify the newly added material. Change the parameters in the Material Attributes panel. You can see that the UV coordinates for the box need tweaking. Select the box. Click on UV in the Scene Building Workbench to access the UV coordinate settings where you can modify objects UV mapping. Select the UV type to box, then click Run. Now click on the green mark to apply the new UV coordinates. Press F4 on the keyboard to start the real-time rendering. Press F4 again to stop it. Now we are going to create animation sequences to the file cabinet. Click on the workbench icon and select the animation workbench. Select the box. Move the animation slider in the animation timeline to frame 30, for example. Change the position of the box and place it outside the cabinet. Notice that SimLab Composer has automatically created a keyframe on frame 30, denoting the new position of the box. Move the time slider again, then make another transformation. Once you are done, pull the cursor back to frame 0 and press play to see the animation. You can select and modify the keyframes by dragging them along the timeline to the desired frame. Select the keyframes that have been created, then click on Create an Animation Sequence from the Timeline Tools. Type in a name for your sequence, Box Down for example. To create a reverse sequence for your animation, in addition to the regular animation sequence, toggle the Create Reverse option. You can also have the keyframes deleted from the timeline once the sequence is created. Simply toggle the Delete Keyframes from Timeline option in the dialog. To attach the created sequences to the box, make sure that it's selected. Then go to Object Attributes panel. Set the action type to multi actions. In the actions list, press the plus button to add an action. From the action dialog, set the type to play sequence. Notice that SimLab Composer is automatically switched to the sequences library. Here you can click on the sequence you want to attach and SimLab Composer would automatically fill in the name of the sequence in the Action Input box. Add another action to the list and set it to play sequence as well. This time, attach the reversed version of the animation sequence. Click on the Workbench icon and select the VR Workbench. Then click on Start Position. Start position will determine the starting location of your camera in the VR experience. A human model is loaded into the scene, where you can position and rotate the character to determine the angle at which the viewer will be facing upon starting the VR experience. 
Go to the Launch Viewer menu and select Start Desktop Viewer. Hold the left click and aim the white pointer at the box and see how it is highlighted in yellow, indicating that it is an interactive object. Release the left click to play the attached sequence. Press Escape to exit SimLab Viewer and go back to SimLab Composer. Select the cabinet door. Go to Move menu. Pivot Tools, then Move Pivot. Now move the pivot to the top left corner of the door, which will determine the axis on which the door will rotate. Once you have set the pivot's location, press 2 on your keyboard to access the Transformation tool. Move the time slider in the animation timeline and set it to frame 20 and rotate the door as if it was open. Set the time slider to frame 0 and click play to see the animation. Select the created keyframes and create a new sequence for the cabinet door opening and an additional one for closing by following the previously mentioned steps. Make sure that the cabinet door is selected, then go to the Objects Attributes panel. Set the action type to Multi Actions. Follow the previous steps to assign the new sequence to the cabinet door. Create an animation for the drawer opening. Repeat the previously mentioned steps to create and assign the sequences to the drawer and the other cabinet parts. Go to the Launch VR menu and select Start Desktop to see the result. The animation sequences feature that SimLab Composer allows you to implement in the VR experience takes interaction to a whole new level where you can further reinforce your design's presentation and make it easier for your clients to understand the functions of the design parts.